your right hand and say after me. I With the swearing in today of the state's first Latino attorney general, Javier Becerra is California's new champion in the fight with the federal government over immigrant rights. I don't think California is looking to pick a fight, um, but we're ready for one. Becerra is joined by Governor Jerry Brown in defending California's immigrant population. In California, immigrants are an integral part of who we are and what we become. But President Donald Trump has pledged to crack down on illegal immigration, a cause for concern on the campus of Sacramento State University, where many students here are so-called dreamers, people who came to California as kids when their families fled Mexico and other countries. Graduate student Norma Mendoza is one of them. There's still so much uncertainty. I think that's the biggest fear for students. Like, they just want to know what's going to happen. Are they going to get rid of the program? Yes or no, and if they are, when. California's pushback against President Trump includes a bill requiring candidates to disclose five years of tax returns before their names could be placed on the presidential ballot. And the reason we're doing this is it's not because California picked this fight. Uh, it's because President-elect Donald Trump made the decision not to release their returns. And frankly, he has something to hide. But some Republicans here are concerned that California's defiance could bring repercussions. I don't think the best uh, way to negotiate is to poke uh, the other person in the eye. And I think that there's been a little bit too much poking from California. Well, my hope is that we don't paint ourselves into a corner and get federal funds cut. California could lose potentially millions of dollars in the fight over sanctuary cities, where groups like the Immigrant Policy Center are supportive of California's stance. And I think folks should just really um, put some faith in uh, the work of our state and the work of our uh, immigrant rights advocates to ensure that we continue that progress and that we are protecting all of our residents against whatever actions we may see by the federal government.